Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Hey everyone and welcome to another segment on the bench. Today I'm going to tie you up a little blue wing olive. This is just a little different than the RS2. Pretty simple little fly. It's a good little hatch when you're fishing blue wing olives. You're going to have to make sure you get the size and that right. This is not a super hard fly to tie. It's small, so what I call small. Let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Talk about small, here's here's a fellow out of Lethbridge. One of size 32 dry fly hooks. I got him some years ago. Brad Skidmore's his name. Size 32's in there. Split wings and everything. These are amazing. He took a lot of time, but he was a great tire and, and still is. So tied a lot of nice flies for us over the years. We're going to start here. We're going to use a size uh, 18 dry fly hook, a Tiemco 100. I'm going to be using some Semperfly spider thread. This is pale olive, an 18 aught, nice thin thread. The the tail on this uh, fly here, I'm going to be using some uh, Betts tailing fibers, medium done. And then the wing, I'm going to be using some CDC puffs, light done. The uh, body I'm going to be dubbing on some super fine uh, blue wing olive dubbing and on the wing just a little highlight throw a little ice wing in there a little UV uh, hue in there uh, you can just barely see it helps me see it when I'm fishing also the fish see it a little bit on the bottom I love that stuff I just great material so let's get a hook in the vise I'm not a master at the small, tiny flies. I know a friend of mine, Ron Anderson, out of Clearwater, he used to be out of Calgary. He'd tie 24s all day long. Never he loves them little flies. Fish them too. And great salmon steelhead uh, classic fly tire. I've got a few of his flies on my wall. Keepsakes. Met some good people. Even got to go fishing. Diane and I got to. A little steelhead with, with him too, and that was really nice. These old guys sure show you a lot. Well, I'm getting to be one of the old guys, my goodness sakes. So we'll get our uh, tailing materials in at the rear. Come around the back, make sure we've got them right at the tie-in point. I want to probably need my, I got them split there with my thread. Probably need my magnifier. I got by without it, but you keep fooling around. You can get them split with your thread. Okay, now I want to get a little bit of my uh, UV up front here. Just a small little pinch. that I'll just tie that in facing forward for now because that longer one off then I'll get one of my nice uh, little CDC puffs what do we got here A nice little material, get a soft turn, have my wings about the height I want, and I'll cut that off at an angle, it gives me a bit of a taper already right there, and I'll just come in with my super fine dubbing, my blue wing olive dubbing, make sure we get it on really, really thin at the start there so we get a good taper now we'll see where my tail wanted to move that means i'm right at the tie-in spot come just ahead of that get my body going right to the wing i'm going to tighten my dubbing up a little bit 
pull my wing and my UV material back. Finish the thorax. Grab a little whip finish in here. Oop! A spider thread is definitely that. I must have a little edge on my whip finish. Just bear with me, and I'm going to uh, thread my bobbin again. Using this really fine thread. And the trouble is when you're working on bigger flies and they go these little ones, you're kind of using too much thread tension. You're not used to it. It takes a little bit of time to get honed down into these little guys and you get in the dry fly mood. Some days are better than others to tie dry flies. For me anyway. Okay, let's go back here and fix this up. Start my thread again. I'm sitting back quite a ways from my waist here. So can't see very well. I'm going to put my little cheaters on so I can see. There we go. Now I can finish my thread. We'll try that whip finish again. Must just touch that with my finger or something. Maybe a little rough spot. Finish that right there. And I got a little bit of my UV out of a little too long, so you can see that there. I'm just going to make sure I don't cut any of my uh, CDC. But you can almost like a parad paradun style, just fan that out a little bit, and uh, that works good. Nice, I like that little UV in there too. Makes great fly. You can tie this one like say. Uh, 20s, 22s, not a problem at all. And then you pretty much got them blue wing olives all matched up for sizes. So, thank you again for uh, catching us again on this segment of Sports Fishing on the Fly. We'll catch you again real soon. Uh, if you have any comments or you'd like to see some tips or anything like that, don't feel uh, you need to just give Don an email there at some point and he'll reach out to any of us on the pro team and see what we can do for you. So, Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you again on the next um, video of sport fishing on the fly.